Hi and welcome to the Threonite channel. So in today's video we're going to be talking about small EDC flashlights that are offered in different colors. What prompted this video are these three right in the middle here. This is the Threonite Saber model and is now available in three new colors. We have a nice gray color, a green, and an orange. Now next to it are a variety of different smaller EDC flashlights that are also available in different colors. Now there's a lot of flashlights on the market, literally thousands to choose from. The majority of them are just black, and there's nothing wrong with that. A black flashlight's still cool to me, but in the last few years, across the board, the whole flashlight industry has brought a lot of color to the marketplace, which is really nice, especially when people are trying to color match their EDC items, or they just want something that's a little bit different. So in today's lineup, I just grabbed some random lights here. Starting from the left here, we have the Streamlight ProTac 1AA. Next to that, we have the Streamlight Wedge. Then we have the Olight, this is the i3T. Next to that, we have the Olight i5R. Then of course, we have the Thrunite Saber in three different color options. Next to that, we have the Olight Perrin Mini. Next to that, we have the Olight Javelon Mini. And on the end here, we have the little Phoenix EO3R. Now, if you're not familiar with these lights, here's a quick breakdown on the price of these, as well as the highest output or capability. So first, the ProTac 1AA from Streamlight. Sells for about $40 and has a 50 lumen output max. All right, the Streamlight Wedge has a thousand output max. This costs about $80 on average. Then the Olight i3T, about $19.95, puts out 180 lumens. Then we have the Olight i5R, currently sells for $35.95, puts out 350 lumens max. Then we have the Thrunite Saber. All three new colors are $22.99 currently on Amazon. It puts out a max output of 659 lumens. Then the Olight Perrin Mini here puts out 1,000 lumens, but currently costs $64.95. Then we have the Olight Javelot Mini, also puts out 1,000 lumens, but that one is currently $99.99. And again, on the ends, we have the Phoenix EO3R, currently selling for $30.45 and puts out 260 lumens. So first up here, the Streamlight ProTac 1AA. We have a tail switch. We have a single direction pocket clip, which is removable if you want. This happens to be the EMS version specifically. Um, there are other variants on this light that put out more output, but they have different price tags. All right, so we have a low, medium, high. So basically you're cycling through. So when you first push the button, it's low. If you do a, a two press in a row, one, two, it's medium, or three is high. So one, two, three. All right, you can click in on any of those modes to have constant on. All right, and that is it. This runs on a single AA battery. Next up, the Streamlight Wedge. This does have a single position pocket clip, which is removable if you want. And there are two modes on this guy. One is constant low, which is 300 lumens, or we have a turbo or high mode that's 1,000 lumens, but it's only momentary on. All right, you get to that by pushing this forward. All right, if you let go, it shuts off or goes back to that 300 lumen uh, constant on. And that is pretty much it internal lithium ion battery that's rechargeable. Next up, we have the Olight i3T, bi-directional pocket clip, which is removable. Clicky switch on the back. This takes a simple alkaline AAA battery. All right, this has two modes, low and high. So low and high. Either one, you can click the button in for constant on. Then we have the Olight i5R. This takes a rechargeable AA size battery, although you can put an alkaline uh, AA in there, but the performance is gonna be less. Um, same deal as the i3T, two modes, tail clicky, bi-directional pocket clip, which is removable if you want. All right, so we have low, and then we have high. All right, very simple. And next up, the Thrunite Saber. All right, also has a bi-directional pocket clip, which is removable if you want. It does have a tail clicky, which is color matched aluminum. All right, so it is metal, which is kind of nice. And this has two modes, low and high. All right, and this one's also running on a rechargeable AA size battery. Next up here, the Olight Perrin Mini. If you notice, this does have a 90 degree head on it. All right, this comes with a uh, head strap if you want to use this as a headlamp. But it does have a bi-directional pocket clip, which is removable. All right, so you don't have to use the head strap. You can also use this as a little pocket light. All right, this has a button on the top here. And once you turn it on, you can push and hold. It'll cycle through low, medium, high, and turbo. You can double click at any point to go right to the highest uh, thousand lumen output. All right, or if you triple click, it goes to a um, SOS mode. All right, so we have the three, 
and then the three again, but they're different wavelengths, okay? So the international, you know, distress signal. And this guy runs on a 16340 size lithium ion battery, and there is a magnetic um, charging on the bottom here. Next up, we have the Olight Javelot Mini. All right, this has two modes. So as you push in the tail switch here, all right, we have low, but if you push all the way in further, we have high. All right, you could do that and quickly release for constant on, or you can have momentary on. All right, this is running on an 18500 lithium ion battery. And a quick note, this does not have any kind of pocket clip or anything, but this does come with a uh, plastic molded holster when you get these new, so you can wear this on the hip. And last up here is the Phoenix EO3R. All right, there's a little side button there that's copper. Double click to turn it on. Once it's on, single individual clicks to change the modes. So we have low, medium, or high. All right, if you push and hold, it'll shut off, but if you continue holding, it'll actually switch to the other LED, which is red. So push and hold, so it's off, but then I'm still holding it, so it switches to red. And this has two modes. So if you uh, individually click it, it'll swap back and forth between constant on and a slow blinking. All right, and push and hold to shut off. Now notice there's no pocket clip on this guy, but this is meant for the keys, so there is a little split ring that comes with it and the lanyard hole. All right, so let's head outside and take a look at some beam shots. All right, so for this demo, I'm standing in front of a cluster of trees that are about 20 feet away. First up here is the Streamlight. This is the Protac 1AA. There's high. All right, up. Down. On the left and right. All right, this one has all throw. Very tight little beam here. Not a whole lot of spill. Next up is the Streamlight Wedge. All right, there's high. So you can see this has a lot more spill. Let's go up, down, left, and right. All right, next up here is the Through Night Saber. There's low and high. All right, up, down, left, and right. Next up we have the Olight. This is the I3T. There's high. Up. Down. Left. And right. All right, next up is the Olight I5R. Okay. Up. Down. Left. And right. All right, next up is the Olight Perrin Mini. There's high. And go up. Down. Left. And right. All right, then we have the Olight Javelot Mini. There's high. Up. Down. Left and right. And last up is the Phoenix EO3R. All right, up and down. Left and right. So there's a little demo comparing all of them to each other. So there you go. Now you can see how these compare to each other. Um, some obviously bigger than others, some having a very, very tight beam for pretty much all throw, like the, uh, the Javelot Mini here, all right? And other ones that just have incredible flood, like the little Sabres. So it just really depends on your personal preference. I think all these are quality flashlights, you know, it just depends on the needs that you have in a flashlight. So the big focus outside of these lights performance is that you do have high quality flashlights that are offered in a ton of different color options. I know, you know, things like gray are very popular if you want to match it with a, a firearm or something like um, desert tan, same deal. Maybe you have a really cool bright orange pry bar or something and you want to get an orange flashlight to match that. Or, you know, knives. Knives are, are limitless. You can have all types of colors of knife handles and scales and things like that. So it's just kind of cool that the market has broadened so much and brought a ton of color to flashlights. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the Through Night channel, they do free product giveaways. All you have to do to enter 
is comment on these videos and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.